We all know that maple syrup makes life so much sweeter, but you know what makes baking even sweeter? Maple sugar and maple cream. Ugh. It's a one-to-one -one swap, this maple sugar, for granulated sugar. And during the holidays, this is what I use. It makes everything buttery and caramelly and mapley. In other words, it makes it perfect. And today I'm gonna make my favorite maple bunt. And so I'm gonna start off with two cups of granulated maple sugar. And then to that, I'm going to add two sticks of unsalted room temperature butter. And we're gonna start creaming until it's light and fluffy. Now, we're gonna add the eggs one at a time. And now that I've got the eggs in, I'm going to add the flour in three parts and the buttermilk. And to that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. You can use vanilla extract. Don't use the fake stuff. I will know. Add it straight to the buttermilk. I add my flour to some parchment, I put a little bit at a time, and get it straight in. Half of the buttermilk. When it's just coming together, yeah. quick, quick. Now it's all come together into a delicious batter. And we're ready to fill our bunt. I'm going to fill it about three quarters of the way up, which means that you can make some snacks with what's left. Go around. And you're going to bake this at 350 Fahrenheit for 45 to 50 minutes. But wait, there's more. We can make donuts. This is the snack. We go round and round until you're about three quarters of the way up. This only takes 12 to 15 minutes. This is snacks in a hurry. My bunt is out of the oven and the house smells of delicious maple. And I have half a cup of maple cream in my little jar. And to that I've added two tablespoons of cream and I've just stirred it up really well. Just glaze over the top. Go slowly, look at that. And here we have our maple bunt with two types of maple, maple sugar and maple cream. And we all know that maple makes everything better.